kids podcast. <laughs> you can go slow. A kids podcast about. We know you value what you put in front of your kids, especially when it comes to screens and podcasts. That's why we're excited to share a new podcast from our friends at Sleepiest, creating bedtime stories to help your kids fall asleep fast. Hello, Abby here. If you've got children and find bedtimes a struggle, I'd like to tell you about Coco Sleep, a children's story podcast designed to make bedtime a dream. Coco Sleep turns a chaotic bedtime into cozy bonding time. The stories are delivered in a pace that gently slows. Rumour has it that no one's ever heard an ending. So search Coco Sleep on your favourite podcast app and let's make bedtime a dream. That's K-O-K-O Sleep and I'll see you there. Hello, my name is Tess. And I am so happy to be here with you at the very end of our day to say goodnight. It is just such a good time to think back on what happened today, on how we felt throughout the day, and just wind down together. Are you ready? Me too. I love knowing all day long that I get to see you and hear about how your day was and how you're feeling. So first of all, I just want to say thank you so much for being here with me. This is a heart hug process for the end of the day when you are lying in bed about to fall asleep. I will guide you through it here and you are always welcome to use the guide, but it is something that you can eventually just start doing every night by yourself. Ending your day by purposefully filling your mind with gratitude and appreciation reduces stress, improves sleep quality, improves physical health, enhances relationships, reduces loneliness, and increases happiness. So, right now, this time you are taking, these few minutes before you fall asleep, are you choosing to do something good for your body and for your mind? So before we begin... Just take a minute right now and appreciate that about yourself. You are the kind of person who chooses to do something good for your body and for your mind. You are the kind of person who takes time to take care of yourself at the end of the day. So I invite you to crawl into bed fully ready for sleep. Lights off. The goal is for this process to be the absolute final thing you do today. Lie on your back and put both hands on your heart and just feel it beating inside of your chest. That heart that beats all day long without you even doing a thing. Let's start tonight by really appreciating your heart. Your heart that loves so much and so fully. That heart that bends and breaks and beats and allows you to be here in this physical body on this earth. Whisper in your mind's eye, thank you. And imagine your voice traveling down and wrapping itself around your heart in a hug. Now, I want to invite you to think back on your day, to the first time that you opened your eyes this morning, to the first moments of your day, and run through them step by step, sending appreciation for all of them. What can you be truly grateful for? It could look like this. Thank you for my bed. Thank you for my morning hugs. Thank you for my hot drink. (laughs) 
Who can you thank and appreciate in your day? The smaller, the better. How can you thank all of those little tiny things that happen and you don't even think about in the moment? And I will leave some time right now for you to run through your morning and shower it with appreciation. Appreciation and love are the same vibration. So filling yourself with appreciation will end your day in a high vibration, helping you have a deeper sleep filled with happy dreams. And keep on going through your day after you've finished up with your morning, move to your afternoon and your evening. Little bits of appreciation. Now can you find some things that happened in the day that at first felt a little difficult? And can you find a way to appreciate them? Can you thank your tears or traffic jams or some big feelings that came up? Can you find thanks within piles of laundry or dishes or screaming children? The way to discover appreciation in things you would not normally think to appreciate is to imagine the undercover gifts that they are providing you. Dirty dishes to clean mean you have food to eat to keep your body healthy. Clothes to clean mean you have bodies of people you love who live in them. Traffic jams may be provided some much needed alone time. And big feelings are always the gateway to better understanding yourself and the people around you. So take a minute now and go through your day and look for surprise appreciation. Things you pushed against, but in the end were actually a gift. Being able to find the good in things that are seemingly not good is a superpower that will take your life to new levels of happiness. Perhaps there is no good or bad There just is. And as you do this, if anything feels difficult to appreciate, simply skip over it. Appreciation on some subjects sometimes needs some time to develop. And the point of this exercise is to simply fill your body up with high vibration and positive thoughts. I'll give you a moment right now to find some surprise appreciation. And if anything feels stuck, go back to what feels easy. Appreciate the feeling of your sheets. Appreciate your eyes. Appreciate any hugs you got today. Run through your day finding all of the things you can truly appreciate.
And as you end this practice by coming back to this moment right here, right now, thank you for the quiet of this moment. Thank you for the beating of your heart. And thank you for the hours of deep, restful sleep that lie ahead of you. Thank you to you for being here with me. I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Have an amazing sleep with lots of happy dreams. And remember, there is nobody in the whole world with a heart just like yours. I love you. And I love your big heart so much. Good Morning, Good Night is written by me. Tess Levitt. You can learn more about me and my work by visiting bigheartjourney.com. You can write to me or record a voicemail and send it to listen at akidsco.com. I would love so much to hear about your day, and I would love to hear the ways that you say good night. Our show is edited and produced by Matthew Winner with the help from Chad, Michael Snavely, and the team at Sound On Studios. Our executive producer is Jelani Memory. And this show was brought to you by a kid's podcast about. Follow the show on Apple Podcasts or wherever podcasts are found, and check out other podcasts made for amazing kids just like you by visiting akidsco.com. Thank you so much for listening to this show. Now let's help it grow. We'd love to hear what you think, and your feedback will help this show reach more listeners. Rate and review this show on Apple Podcasts or wherever you listen to podcasts.